few months ago, Logitech reached out offering to send me their G560 speakers. Being a sim racing channel which primarily focuses on sim racing hardware, this didn't really catch my attention. Until, well, until I realized they're not just speakers, and could also be used for ambient lighting within a sim. So in today's video, I'll explain that and give my thoughts on the $200 Logitech G560 RGB speakers. Logitech were kind enough to send me this unit for review purposes. They know I focus on sim racing hardware and wanted me to put these through the paces in a sim racing context. So unlike other reviews which test these out in a traditional gaming sense, I only tested these out in my sim rig. And here are my thoughts. The speakers themselves are compact in size and feature a unique and very modern design. The G560 comes with two satellite speakers as well as a large subwoofer, which honestly provide very impressive sound quality, especially for the price. These won't be replacing a high-end sound system, but do an excellent job of providing a crisp and detailed sound with very good bass. I'll admit I'm not much of a sound expert, so if you're interested in learning more about the sound quality of these speakers, I would recommend you look at other reviewers, especially those who focus more on audio equipment. But at least in my opinion, the sound quality is very impressive and more than expected for a speaker system of this price. Now, the main feature that got my attention is what Logitech calls Light Sync. In essence, within the Logitech G Hub software, you can configure these speakers to recognize what's going on within your game and provide ambient lighting to increase immersion. For example, when entering a dark tunnel, all the RGB lights behind the speakers will recognize the color shift and immediately change to provide that added level of immersion. Obviously, to make this effect work, you'll have to be playing in a dark room, but other than that, the G560 speakers do provide that added level of realism, and considering they're primarily intended to be a good quality speaker set, is all the more impressive. Apart from that, the G560 also provides a bunch of other features like an audio visualizer to bring your music to life, various sound settings for different occasions, and a bunch of other cool settings within the RGB lighting. For the purpose of my review, I mainly focused on the ambient lighting, which I think does a great job considering the price and ease of setup. Unfortunately, the main drawback of the G560 speakers is that it works using the notorious Logitech G Hub software, which is known to crash, not properly function, etc. A few times throughout the months I've been using these speakers, the software refused to open, forcing me to uninstall and reinstall, which was a bit annoying. But other than that, I really have no complaints regarding the Logitech G560 speakers. Not only do they have good sound quality, but they also provide ambient lighting to really bring your racing experience to life. And for $200, I would highly recommend them. As always, thank you all for watching, stay safe, and have a fantastic rest of your day.